Hey friends, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking all about my favorite supplements for acid reflux. And before we dive in, it's really, really important to note that nutrition is so individual and nuanced and you should always talk to your doctor and or a registered dietitian before starting a supplement, changing a supplement regime or a medication regime. I'm going to be sharing what has really worked for me. I have a long history with acid reflux. If you haven't seen my other videos on how I cured my acid reflux and how how I manage my acid reflux. I have lots of videos to support individuals with acid reflux and give some tips that have really, really helped me come a long way in my own healing. If you're new to my page, my name is Molly Pelletier. I'm a nutritional science student at Boston University. I just finished my bachelor's in nutritional science and dietetics and I'm continuing on there for my master's degree. So future registered dietitian. I'm very passionate about gut health and right here on my page, I love to share lots of science Fact information to help you improve and optimize your gut health. I also share lots of yoga classes, nutrition videos, all things wellness. So if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe down below. Hit all so you get notified for my videos and you don't miss a beat. And also be sure to give this video a like. It really supports my channel. So in my previous How I Cured My Acid Reflux video, I discussed how I transitioned from medication to herbs. Um, and again, always do this with your doctor's permission, but I was on a proton pump inhibitor called omeprazole for a very long time, um, about over a year. And I started using some of these herbs and slowly weaned off of my medication um, with the help of my doctor and a registered dietitian. So I'm going to be talking about some of the herbs that really, really have worked for me that I still take if I have a flare. And I only really have a flare now if I'm not careful about what I eat. Sometimes I do like to enjoy some of my trigger foods like chocolate and peanut butter and wine. So I, if I do have those foods in excess, I will sometimes have a trigger. Also if I have wine or food really late at night, sometimes that will lead in a acid reflux flare. But my symptoms are much less severe than they used to be. Um, they don't interrupt my eating schedule like they used to. So I really attribute that progress to these herbs, but also lifestyle tips. So some lifestyle tips that have really improved my acid reflux symptoms have been avoiding large dinners, avoiding eating late at night, really being careful to stop eating and drinking about two to three hours before I lay down. Also making sure that I avoid super large meals by having smaller, more frequent meals every three to four hours during the day to stay nourished and avoid a too large of a meal at once that might cause symptoms for me. I also really try to avoid my triggers and I also really, I never have caffeine on an empty stomach. That was a big thing for me. I have to be really careful about caffeine and I most, most days I don't have it, but I make sure to never ever have it on an empty stomach. I have lots of other lifestyle tips in my other acid reflux videos. I'll link them up here and down below in the description box. Okay, so the first two supplements that I'm gonna talk about are Slippery Elm and Licorice Root. And I'm gonna talk about them together because I take them together. So um, I take Nature's Way Licorice Root and Now Food Slippery Elm. If I'm having a flare, it's best to take these on an empty stomach about one to two hours before food. Um, that really helps the herbs work at their best from what I've read and researched about these herbs. And with all supplements, there's not a ton of research out there, but how I found these supplements was I researched herbs that can be beneficial for acid reflux. And how they work is they coat the lining of your GI tract to protect from the acid that can irritate the esophagus and your GI tract. So I notice a huge difference with these herbs when I take them um, the right way, which is taking them about one to two hours before food on an empty stomach. So I usually take them in the morning, try to wait a couple hours, even though that's hard. Um, and I really notice a huge, huge difference. So I'll take one of the um, licorice root and two slippery elm, which is 800 milligrams of slippery elm and then 450 milligrams of the licorice root. That's personally what works for me. 
I'm not saying that that's what you should do, but that is what has helped me a ton. And again, always check with your doctor before taking these, especially because supplements have drug interactions. So particularly these supplements can bind to medication and make medication less effective and potentially prevent you from absorbing your medication. So these supplements need to be taken at least two hours away from any medication and always always check with your doctor to make sure it's not going to interact with the medication that you're taking so I was taking these with a PPI and um, because I was weaning off of my PPI so what I would do is I would take these in the morning right when I wake up with some water and then I would wait about an hour and a half have my PPI and then I would have breakfast about 15 minutes later so it's best to wait two hours. I personally waited an hour and a half because I was trying to um, not go too long without eating in the morning. But again, everybody is different. So I would do that in the morning. When I was healing, I would do two pills of each. But right now I only do um, two pills of Briam and one pill licorice root if I have a flare. But when I was healing, I would do two pills of each in the morning. Um, and then I would do two pills of each at night about like two hours after dinner. So that is how I took them. I took them always away from medication and I made sure with my doctor that it was okay before I took them. The third supplement that I'm going to talk about is a tea by Traditional Medicinals called Throat Coat and I swear by this stuff. It is amazing. So the ingredients are licorice root, slippery elm, same as the supplements, um, marshmallow root which is another root that has been researched to be beneficial for acid reflux as well as fennel, cinnamon, orange peel, wild cherry bark. It tastes delicious in my opinion and it can be a great way to soothe again that tissue in the esophagus. These herbs help to coat the lining of the esophagus, provide a better barrier to protect against the acid which can improve your irritation in the long term because if we're constantly having acid splashing up into the esophagus we're gonna have more pain later on when we have acid reflux again so um this is great i always get the one with slippery elm they make one that also doesn't have slippery elm but i think that the one with slippery elm is better it also says on the back that if you're taking diuretics corticosteroids or cardiac glycosides to not have this tea or to really check with your doctor also if you're pregnant or breastfeeding this has not been researched in that population it also hasn't been researched in children so um that is something to keep in mind i get this at whole foods and amazon i also get these on amazon i have seen them at whole foods i've seen the um, nature's way licorice root on whole at whole foods but i just personally get them on Amazon because it's easier and I just make sure that it's shipped and sold by the store itself not like a third-party store so you're sure that you're getting the right supplement all right so this is great um, I probably won't take these on the same day but if I just feel like a little bit of irritation um, also if allergies are making my throat a little bit sore this is great if you have like a sore throat it really works I swear by it so traditional medicinals love this stuff the last supplement I'm going to share is not necessarily acid reflux related, but it can help with acid reflux. So one root cause of acid reflux can be constipation because if we're not eliminating effectively, waste can build up and it can really inhibit our digestion and also promote acid reflux. So this tea by traditional medicinals called Smooth Move is really helpful if you're feeling a little bit constipated. Um, it has senna in it, with, which helps to stimulate a bowel movement. With this said, I never ever have this more than once a week. So if you're relying on this tea to go to the bathroom, the root causes of constipation really need to be addressed. So are you getting enough fiber, enough hydration? Are you exercising? Is your stress management there? Because stress can really also cause constipation and acid reflux so all those things are first and foremost way more important than any supplement but this is really helpful if you need some help going to the bathroom and i do notice that my acid reflux symptoms are worse when i am constipated so sometimes i'll have this to make sure that i'm going completely and again no more than once a week because you never want to rely on a laxative it's a gentle laxative but still 
So I get the chamomile one because the peppermint is going to be irritating for acid reflux. You want to avoid peppermint tea or caffeinated teas if you have acid reflux. In moderation, those things are okay, but a ton of peppermint and a ton of caffeine is not great for acid reflux. With that said, of course, the other lifestyle practices such as stress management and making sure you're getting adequate nutrition, going to the bathroom regularly and completely, those are all super important, um, but I wanted to share the supplements that I swear by and I'm so, so grateful for in case that might help you if you're also struggling with acid reflux. So if this video was helpful for you, be sure to give it a like, leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear your input and um, it really means the world to me reading all of your comments on my videos that they're helpful. That's why I make them and I really appreciate you being here. So also be sure to subscribe, hit the bell down below, make sure you're notified and subscribe so you get access and updates for my nutrition and gut health videos. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.